in this video, in very simple words, I'm going to explain what is difference between attachment, association, and propagation in AWS Transit Gateway. So let's get started. Look at this example. In this one, we have four VPCs, Prod VPC 1, Prod VPC 2 on your left hand side. In the middle, we have Transit Gateway. And on the right hand side, we have two VPCs, Non-Prod VPC 3 and Non-Prod VPC 4. All of these four VPCs have different side address. All of these VPCs are attached to this Transit Gateway. Attaching a VPC with a transit gateway is called as attachment. And we have four attachments, transit gateway attachment one, transit gateway attachment two, transit gateway attachment three, and transit gateway attachment four. So attachment is nothing but just connecting your VPC with transit gateway. Then we have association. Now with transit gateway, you can define different route tables. When a traffic comes to your transit gateway, transit gateway has to decide where to send that traffic. Transit gateway takes that decision on the basis of a route table. Let's suppose we have two route tables in our transit gateway. One is prod route table and the second one is non-prod route tables. The left hand side prod VPCs will be going into the prod route tables and right hand side VPCs non-prod VPC 3 and VPC 4 will be going into non-prod VPCs. The idea here is that only prod VPCs should be able to talk with each other and not to non-prod VPCs. And similarly, non-prod VPCs should be able to talk with each other but not to the prod VPCs. That is why we have two route tables. So as you can see, we have associated all of these two attachments from prod VPCs attachment one and attachment two this to this prod route table. And we have associated these two attachments from VPC three and VPC four non prod VPCs to this non prod route tables. So association means to add that attachment to the transit gateway route table. Now, associating an attachment to a route table doesn't actually bring in the routes of that attachment. So it, what it means is that once you create an association, it doesn't populate that broad route table with this 10.001 slash 16 and 10.002 slash 16. In order to also actually bring in these routes into this route table, you have to create a propagation. So what propagation does is it actually populates your route tables with the respective attachments routes. Now, another advantage of propagation is that, for example, your these prod VPC one and prod VPC two now want to talk to this non prod VPC three, but there is no attachment of this non prod VPC three in this prod route table. So how do we make sure that only prod VPC one and prod VPC two talk to this non prod VPC three and but not to non prod VPC four. All we need to do is to just create a propagation in this prod route table for this TDW attachment three. And that is how this route 10.003 slash 16 will be actually present in this prod route table. And that is how these two VPCs would be able to talk to this VPC3. And still they cannot talk to VPC4 because that route is not present or not propagated into this route table. So this is what is the difference between an att attachment, association, and propagation. Just to recap, attachment is simply a way to connect a VPC or VPN connection for that matter into transit gateway. Association is linking this attachment into the route table of transit gateway. And propagation is to bring in the routes of the attachment into the route table. And as a side note, as I mentioned, you can create a propagation in a route table without attaching that attachment to that route table.
just like we did in this case of TGW attachment three. And also remember that one attachment can only be attached to one route table and one route table can have multiple attachments. So this is what the difference is. I hope that it helped. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.